So I'm Albert. My full name is Alberto Racanati. I play my own music as Albert. And the show that I put up for Art in the Loop, it's called In the Room. And it is basically just what it sounds like. I would like to portray the that situation where you're just, you know, on a nice couch on a sofa with your favorite people and somebody is intimately playing their arts their hearts out to you and i like that intimate feeling even though um where i did end up playing was at the central library which was not an intimate room but i like to take you there as much as i can so yeah my name is alberto and i am a trumpet player a freelance musician composer producer educator here in Kansas City. I'm originally from uh, Bari in Southern Italy, which is a, obviously a big part of my identity. So I'm an immigrant in this country. I came to the States 10 years ago, just chasing music. I studied at UMKC. I have a background in classical music, but then eventually, well, I was always uh, enamored with the underground since before coming over here. And I played in a variety of genres from metal to ska to uh, marching band, anything that was fun enough to do, I tried to do. And once I was over here, I just, uh, besides my academic studies, I just kept it up until about in 2018, I started uh, just for fun messing around with electronic music. And I started performing once or twice and making beats and put those on social media and fast forward a couple of years. During COVID, I started making that uh, a bigger and bigger thing. So I started putting albums out and playing more and more during the end of 21 and beginning of 22. And yeah, right now I have three full length albums out and lots of collaborations. And I just came back from a Northeast Coast tour and yeah, playing Kansas City as much as I can. I love to, I mean, it's, um, I'm, if you're wondering at any moment, during the day, what is Alberto doing? I'm probably practicing or doing something with music. And that honestly takes a big part of my life. But then out of that, I just honestly love to kick it with a few trusted friends, stay home with my two beautiful cats and wife, and just enjoy life to the fullest. As I said before, my identity as an immigrant is a big, big force behind what I do. So um my fading memories of where i grew up plus the crazy exciting memories of what i'm seeing everything can look foreign but at the same time i've been gone so long to the point where it starts feeling familiar and the familiar starts feeling foreign so it's kind of complicated out there uh up here and i like my music to just take me to that place in between where maybe I don't know if it's real, if it really happened or if it didn't. I don't know if I heard this melody when I was a child. I don't know if I'm just making it up. I don't know if I heard that yesterday, but I, I stopped trying to remember and I just like to just be there and hopefully take you with me when I'm, when I'm playing. Um, so in a way uh, I like to merge the, the future, the past, and the present into whatever you hear. Therefore, there's like a bunch of influences in my sound. I like to mix together many, many different genres. And I try to not worry about what it is, what that means, what, what that's like. I just know that somewhere in my mind, those things coexist. And I like to, I like to share that for anybody who might feel the same. The word convivencia for me as an immigrant is daily life it's survival it's what it it's needed for me to exist and for me to let other pe people exist because it's never just one way so um i see this every time i will be in a group of people and i stop looking at our faces and i realize everybody has is coming from somewhere else everybody's got a different story we all have to adhere to a certain uh mindset if you want to make this work and when it does it's beautiful so for me convivencia it's really a um a way of living life that it's very much needed in this country in this place more like no other place and it's what put me in touch with other people is the net through which we're able to navigate our realities which we'll never fully understand
from outside, but it makes it possible for us to interface with each other. I feel like my music does have a healthy degree of convivencia. Um, first of all, because it's an immigrant who's playing it. And so you know that it's always going to be a scrambled recollection of things for the most part. Um, but then also when it comes to specific uh, musical cultures, in my case, I feel like Kansas City is such a crossroad of influences. And it's really um, amazing and super inspiring for me to just walk outside, walk through downtown, walk through the West Bottoms, look around, look at all the different influences in it, look at all, hear all the sounds and uh, work them together in something that somehow makes sense in my mind. So um, I would say that that's definitely a big part of my music. It's that big melting pot, which, you know, what place better than America to and the United States and the center of this country to, to experience and portray that in your own way i am very familiar with art in the loop i've been playing in uh, a couple of previous editions of art in the loop and i got to be familiar with the people behind it which i all love and, and but also with what they're actually trying to do with their mission um i do believe that one i love kansas city it's home but one of my biggest gripes with this city is the non-walkability and the car dependency of it and here's some people who not only are trying to fix that, which is a very, very tough battle, but they're also trying to engage the local artist community while doing it. So for me, seeing something like that, that takes care of, takes care of artists, but also at the same time takes care of the city and does it in a, in a mindful way, I just knew I had to apply. Plus, this, this year's theme, theme convivencia, that's something that, as I said before, I experience every single day. So that there was really, really something, one keyword that resonated with me so much. And I just decided that um, I had to, I had to try to be a part of it. What title would I give this chapter in my life? Well, I'm not very good at titles being an instrumental musician. So coming up with words with the right thing to say is usually something that um, needs a little bit of thinking on my end. Right now, this uh, this chapter, I would say it's very much about uh, that summer shine and just that care carefree vibe that comes together with summer and really enjoying what you've been doing. So I'm in a moment where I have a uh, couple weeks off from touring, from gigging, from recording, and I'm really making the most out of it. And so um, I feel like it's a good moment to unwind and just like enjoy what you, you've been uh, seeding before. So uh, I would say just uh, Summer Lush would be a good one. If I had to come with like a title, I'll, I'll write that down. It's a good song title. Uh, what's the most unexplainable thing that's ever happened to you? Oh boy, um, it is kind of unexplainable to me how the hell I ended up here from um, my original starting point. Uh, so I know that this probably mentioned before, but I'm an immigrant from Southern Italy. I'm from a small town, um, kind of a underserved, um, a little impoverished area for sure within the country. And so prospects were not very bleak unless you decided to just leave and go. And if you told me 15 years ago that I had to, that I was going to be in Kansas City today, you know, talking to you or just doing what I do, living as a freelance musician, as a creative person, I would have probably laughed at you and I would say, that's impossible. I don't even know what that is. What's Kansas? Um, but it is kind of unexplainable and... I do feel lucky in a way, even though everything happened, you know, over the course of years and it was a long time coming. But if I stop right now and look back, I'm like, it's impossible that I'm doing what I'm doing. But um, I guess it's real, though. And I have to pinch my cheeks every so often to just be like, yeah, you're like you, you moved all the way over here and you're doing something that you really love. So I feel lucky. And uh, yeah very, very lucky about that. And some that, sometimes it's hard to really come to terms with all the stuff that I had to go through to be at this point. 
when I am not playing in a bar or restaurant or venue around Kansas City or the adjacent area, you can find me on social media. My handle is at Alber underscore sounds, A-L-B-E-R underscore sounds. I'm also on Spotify my music, or any other streaming platform. Uh, you can visit my website, www.albersounds.com. And yeah, just uh, look for Albert, you'll find me.